Hello and welcome. In this video, we will give an overview of Brownian motion. This is the next video in a series on quantitative finance and modeling markets. Brownian motion is a physics process that describes random movement. It was first discovered and named after Dr. Robert Brown about 200 years ago when he noticed, but could not explain, the random movement of pollen suspended in water. Since that time, Brownian motion has been applied to other areas as well, including non-traditional areas like finance. Brownian motion states that there are two parts to random movement, a deterministic component and a random stochastic component. These two combined to create the observed movement. For example, when a rocket blasts off into space, there are two parts to the rocket's path. The first is the path of upward movement caused by the rocket's jets. The second part is the effect on that path from things like random gusts of wind and other randomly occurring natural forces. About a hundred years ago, a man named Louis Bachier first applied Brownian motion to the movements of the price of a stock. Years later, his work was built on by others, including Eugene Fama, to become the foundation for modern day quantitative finance. Therefore, the movement of the price of an asset such as a stock follows a continuous Brownian motion, which is sometimes referred to as a Wiener process. This movement contains the same two components, a deterministic component and a random stochastic component. The deterministic component becomes the expected path of price, and the random component is the random shock or shift to that expected path of price from the randomness caused by volatility. To model Brownian motion, we use Ito's lemma which quantifies those two components. Ito's lemma will be the subject of the next video in this series. So that is an overview of Brownian motion. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.